Hi, so we're just going to you know, pick up just a little bit prior to where we left off on that last one there. Um, did cut it down, this is considerably shorter rather than a four hour session in one video. Cut it down a bit because this next part alone, it takes an hour. Um, <laughs> yeah, so do enjoy. Uh, we're classing this as a session in video and this is a session, you know, a double session in reality. So yeah, uh, this is your level 8 characters fighting an adult black dragon, which the book specifically states they are not ready to fight. Let's see how they handle that one. Till then, we move once more to the dragon army officer. He does top of his tower once more, kind of fading and falling as he does, blows a final horn this large as it does the tower immediately collapses with him in it impaled as it does you just watch as the moonlight is immediately blotted out you see flying in from the north making its way towards yourselves this other large black dragon that does lands down where the tower was just crunches and looks <laughs> as it does the flapping wings of this hulking creature blow most of the fires out god damn it ruby you and your blow joke. That's all. That blows I all of them. I don't want to break up your description, <laughs> but that was all I could think about. It does. You watch as the watchtower crumbles. Oh shit. His soldier is, is fucking that, is dead. Is Renard, that, is that Misty concept. Red Eye? Renard, concept. Got it. Something in me tells me that we should spread out a bit. The. Ba 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 As DC 11, you just make it as you are broken out. You uh, what do you wish to do? As um, I'll be right. you've watched as this thing has landed. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh shit! I forgot to roll this guy. He's dead. Well, it's a good thing we waited for that lance now, huh? <laughs> You just can't um, feign okay. Exodus, you just hear from the tent. Oh, you're in tent now! Um. See. I guess I put my sword away and draw my. Get the dragon lance out and. in between the ghost dragon and the others and tell them to run. I'll point out, there's no wall here, so, um, straight line here. There's also no tower. I'm going to have to delete the tower as well. <laughs> oh, delete the, sh the, the thing for the tower. Uh, shit, he's standing on token. One, two, three. He lands. Got to move his type of movement to that. Got to go to the walls. Straight up delete fucking tower. Oopsies. <laughs> It's between you and him now. You draw the dragon lance and just stand in there, didn't it else return? I'm um, just standing here. Hopefully everybody else is running. <laughs> well, Alright, time to put that uh, little hands to kill his dragons to use. As he does. Yeah, looks round. Oh, 
pitiful creatures lurking in a domain not of your own. Your wretched lives are not worth the effort. What? I look forward. I look forward to watching you melt. Who's ready to make deck saves for their life? Uh, Hell yeah! Um, Great. Oh, <laughs> first and foremost, everyone, wisdom saving throws, the lot of you. Oh, not the lot of you. Oh my fucking god. Fail, pass, pass, fail. My incredibly high wisdom character rolled a fucking three. Anything lower than a 16, go ahead and mark yourself as Frightened. How do I do that? Uh, right click, don't worry about that. Uh, keep it your own note. Uh, bam, bam, bang. And now right. shit gets real fun. That there is what we call Frightening Presence. I'm gonna Finished. delete these right now just for my own benefit of seeing. Because what comes next is. Those auras are still up, by the way. Yep. Uh, I have it notated here. Hmm. So it does. I'm gonna. Get it. Immediately. I thought this was longer. Renard. I need a deck save. I'm begging. <laughs> this is Oh, it's the worst possible time in that one. Do you watch that fires out this thick tar of acid straight across? Just as it does, it soaks directly to yourself. Renard, could you set your roles to private GM, please? Oh my day. Bro, bro, take it back. Take it for say sake. <laughs> say it's, psych. We have two healers with our I wish. Up I wish I could say psych. As it starts. <laughs> <laughs> Raises the wings out once more to blot it out, casting a dark shadow over everything. Be a real cunt move to say, let's pick this up next week, wouldn't it? <laughs> Exodus. Well, I'm in world, so. <laughs> I can't approach the dragon. And no, you cannot. Funny thing is, I built Exodus as a melee only character base pretty much where he doesn't really have eldritch blast even as a warlock um he does have a short bow but he has one arrow with it so he's saving that for a special occasion on a lonely night with a bottle of whiskey <laughs> 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 but uh with not much he can very much do i would like to uh bonus action all right so technically right i have to move as far away from this creature as possible or is that turned undead uh right? here's what your thing so my thing is i just can't get closer this is the can't get closer in... but you can make the save at the end of your turn and there's your dc there 16. you just need to meet a set meter beat at 16 and you can start right. moving towards this bastard all right all right, so it's not like turn on that where I'm compelled to use everything to get away from him. Okay, in that case, I will use bonus action, Hexblade's Curse. Okay. Um, wait, 30 feet of me. That's not 30 feet. Give it back, don't sure. worry. Give yourself your back. He's not... 55. Yeah. All right, 55. I will... Uh, move this way outside hmm? a bit. And then, bonus action hide. Classic. Right, and then, action. Uh, real quick, okay. Okay, wait for it, wait for it, idea coming. Okay. I'm sorry, I was thinking about summoning the horse. 
the favor of the heroic. I was really thinking about. I was like, what if I, what if I summon a horse? My dumbass. No, uh, Chinari's necklace. What the fuck was I gonna put haste? I was thinking, what if I summon the horse and then I put haste on the horse and then the horse can move like a thousand miles an hour? I was like, no, no. Okay, I go to activate the haste thing, and then wisdom saving throw. Uh, yeah. All right, wisdom saving throw. Nice. Oh, that's Poggers. Oh, yeah. It's like you get back there, hey, like, oh, oh, I fucking got this. <laughs> so hate yourself up. <laughs> he runs away, activates his haste, looks down at himself, looks at his two magical weapons, and he's like, I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Clifton, uh, action. I want to hide. I want to move a little bit over here. Right? I'm, not sure if the, I'm not sure if the dragon could see him at first anyway. A frightful presence is just everyone. You know something? I'm just, I'm just going to do it out of curiosity when I do this. Um, yeah, the bullet, the bullet is frightened. <laughs> the, coward, the bullet is cowering next to Clifton and the two are holding each other through the cage. But <laughs> if, if, uh, do you want me to roll a stealth check for being hidden? Like stealth is hit, uh, Clifton, action hide. Um... Can if you want to. That's all I'm gonna say. All right. I trust me. I'm not just hiding to hide. Trust me here. All right. Stealth. Right. I'll 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 roll it. You know. Hmm? It's an 18. All right. Okay. And now I will use my bonus action because I had aura vitality up mm -hmm. to bring up um, Renard. And the thinking here. Is that if the dragon can't tell that he's there, you can just hide here and bring up Renard infinitely. <laughs> uh, roll your. Uh, you get like two d six plus some additional reroll auto vitality. It's right. plus five. He's got fate dealer's deck, so would that not technically be plus six or something? Then it's not automated, but when he casted it, it was a plus five. Um. What I have to comment out of it because I'm curious. That's right. Uh, I'm gonna do it for myself. So don't worry. Um, let's see what read. Oh, do you want to use my roll out of curiosity? <laughs> uh, yeah, plus five. Uh, you can roll two d six plus five, or use my roll. Your choice. So I did roll it. You know what? The way you laughed makes me want to say yes. I'll take it. Doesn't matter too much. Bernard gets sixteen hit points. <laughs> Based. I if that's good or bad, but yeah. Uh, it's a six and a five. It's, it's one off max. Ayo. Uh, I just want to yes. check something out of curiosity. When you wear this pendant, okay. Did I just misclick <laughs> and do 16 death or. I just did 8 damage to Melon up accident. Oh, put it back on. John, I, I would like to say right now. Dear God, you are so lucky. <laughs> so, so lucky. Why that so? What's good about healing, motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the cleric in this bitch? Did I announce your turn there, Clifton? Uh, sorry, tip four. Oh no, yeah, that's it. Okay. We move to Melano. Uh. This combat got real fucking juicy. Do we want to fight him or do we want to run? Let's fight him. Let's fight him. Your exodus say, well, we can't leave the people here. <laughs> I can buy us a minute. He's been a, he's been a thorn in our side for too long. We have a dragon killing Lance. Let's go. Uh, I guess we're fighting. <laughs> yeah, let's burn all the boats. Let's go. Stake everything on success. Let's go. I'm going to check my multi attack. Okay. Okay. Right, and then... Okay, right. Go. Hmm. Go. <laughs> I don't care about range. I don't need to buy a minute. I really want... No, that's a bad idea. I think that might be a good idea. 
Let me, um, let, me read, let me read parry really quickly to see if I can parry a dragon. We're going to slow this battle down a little bit. I need a um, save from the dragon. Legendary resistance. I'm not even going to try to save it. Cool. I could try. I need to shut up. For reading. <laughs> you know what? For your sake? Yeah. It's cool. I'll take that legendary resistance back. Yeah. I really need to learn how to shut up. Huh? You, you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have the sorcery points for it. Quick and spell munch liver. Okay. In range, yes. Uh. So uh, I'll, I'll point it out you know, just for yourself there because it'd be a lot easier, John. Um, you, uh, he feels that one there, psychic damage kill. You, um, you just stabilize, and therefore, it's a fun one. I know. What? Huh? Don't worry. Talking about his sheet, not yours. Okay, no, no, don't else the turn. Uh, she. <laughs> oh fuck! I used my bonus action already. He's gonna. Like, start to back up through the hole in the wall. I don't think uh, there's no elevation change around here, is there? Uh, like, it's, like, it's, like a, it's like a 10 foot, but it's like a, you know, it could easily slide up. You could also hold yourself on it. It's very much an embankment that's been carved out. So, you know, it's not yeah, dramatic. She, she, she's gonna, actually, she's gonna step behind the wall. And that's her turn. Okay. And then I have another one. Haha. <laughs> um. Let's see how he does on necrotic damage. I need a, um, a con save on the dragon. Con? Oh, he's good at that. Yeah, he saves. That's mean. Fuck. Uh, half damage. Yep. Half as much. That will be... Go for 17. Could you... And... I don't want to be a dick when I say this, but could you give me a wisdom save and throw from Melano because I've been given specific instructions from Alpha. However, you know, the she's situation has changed. No, no, no. She's afraid of dragons, isn't she? No. Uh, she palms the wish save. She seizes up. Has a bit of a panic attack, shall we say. Not frightened, but very much panic attack in here. Luna, go on. Yeah, so she... she... No, I mean, she's out of line of sight, she's out of combat, so she's chilling. Ah, uh, ha ha. Alright, I still have my bonus action. Right? So, uh, 2d6 to Renard. Three... Plus three eight. healing. Better than nothing. Been by. It's something. <laughs> and she's gonna, like... Position itself stable on the crit rate. Okay. Did it else? Sure. Uh, the action bonus action, and I'm not gonna move. I don't have any sure. special actions, so nope. Hobgoblin just kind of shouts, "You better run! Trust me!" You dragon. <laughs> Fane, you're up. All right. Fane's going to run over here behind this tent. I'm considering that full cover. Uh, yep. All right. Um, popping a healing potion is an action, correct? Uh, is it a standard one or is it like greater superior? It's a potion of healing. Uh, two d four. So you're good. Well, then I don't need you to make it. It's just fine as. So a uh, standard healing of potions. So that's a bonus action because I see them like fucking test tubes. So you get four little healy points back to feel good about yourself. No, I rolled the wish save because I was still frightened. Oh, frightening presence. Yep. And it also means I have to move one back because I've moved closer, technically. So I moved, need to move there. Thank you. Why is that where I crit? I hate it here. Finn, did anything else as you get behind full cover and pop a potion? And pop another potion. Using your action to pop the second one? Yeah, I need it. Thank yep. God. Where are you? 
Did I'm on the other side. Okay. Did it now say curiosity? Not right now. Yeah. Then we are gonna rock on over to Renard. Renard, line please. We're gone for the briefest of moment before you can back up, burning with acids. Your armor starts bubbling away in places, but magical. You know, it takes a bit more. Uh, your hair, however. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> what, what, can I ask, yeah. what kind of like breath was it? Was it like acid? Acid, yeah, okay, cool. I did specifically say. I didn't register and I want to make, so, make sure. Uh, what did you say, John? Uh, the flowing black lock. <laughs> uh, you'd have to dash to get there because you're technically prone. Oh, he's prone. Yeah, he says, he says, no, my hair defines me. <laughs> VO5. It'll grow, man. Oh, is there any cover to take? Uh, I would argue that behind the cages would give three quarters cover. Because, you know, it's going to be it's really hard to see behind cages. Um, behind the tents on the other end would be classed as full cover. Um, Barring in that, the only other thing you could do is try hide. Over here, I'll lay on hands for all forty points. All right. I say to try to get in the rush us because that him on that perch is not a great idea. He is not perched. He did initially try, but the tower took a fireball and a. Technically, what would be classed as a 12th level lightning bolt. Huh. And he is a huge creature. Okay, I gotcha. <laughs> uh, give me that full health there, Renard. I'm uh, just going to come in and give yourself all that good touch. You know, that's a good touch. Did it announce your turn? Um, oh, let me think here. And me and Renard are about to tag team, team a dragon. <laughs> Can I do Valve Enmity against this fella? Uh, I've one, but I don't know where it says it's a charge. Vow of Enmity, uh, Channel Divinity, Vow of Enmity, Bonus Action, Bonus Action, or Vow of Enmity against a creature, Channel Divinity. Uh, so you'd be burning your... S You've already used your Channel Divinity on that one there. He's used that on another yeah. creature, so you would be unable it's to... Well, let's go with... Hunter's Mark instead. Alright. Hunter's Mark for an additional three. I can know you're only being private GM. I forgot about the thing as well, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, so, da -da 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 -da. Okay. Additional 1d6. Choose a creature you can see within range. Mark it as your quarry. So, you got a 1d6 on this bad boy. Did it, Nels? No, uh, that's it. Okay. Good boy. Here. Well, all right. Well, firstly, oh, he will fly <laughs> on over to here. I haven't seen what someone has done. Gonna lift up and immediately comes down, Kong! bends the cage. You. Should have run. And he will just fucking unleash. Why is he getting that? say, uh huh, uh. make. Yeah. There. Takes a bite at yourself, Luna. Takes a clawing at yourself. Uh, so 19 and 22. Yeah. For 31 damage, of which one is acid. <laughs> uh, I know resistances. Just in case, because you never know. So absorb elements is a thing that exists. Oh, yeah, but it's only. Yeah, no, <laughs> thanks. Um, I am. Then it comes down. Uh, don't know what the fuck you're concentrating on, I completely forget. Or a fatality. Oh. Um, I need two DC-10 concepts. 
Kill, kill. And uh, I'll take 31 points off of you. And you kind of watch as the tail... And immediately towards yourself, Renard, this 15-foot tail just... It's 26 for 16. Immediately... Say DC 10 con save. Good, good. Exodus, you hear it land, you hear the crushing bend. This thing is right up in your face, Luna. He watches the acid drips down, melting away at parts of the metal. The Kender and the Sea Elf have been sent to the spectator screen. Oh, they died? Again, I can't stress this enough. It's a huge dragon. We should. No, no, I, I, I did it. <laughs> I haven't. I've like. There's been stuff on top of that cage the entire time. I'm, the only creatures I saw in the cages were the bullet and the two elves in the corner. Oh, yeah, I did move the uh, sea elf and the kender from that one there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm in danger. Now we're not gonna get paid. <laughs> Ralph Wiggum. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking assholes. I would love um, no. Uh, can I cl just climb this wall? It's like 15 feet. You saw. I don't know if I could go through, but like, how hard is it to climb this wall? Do I have to make another athletics check? There yeah. Oh, uh, it's like, it's like it, you said it was like 15 there is, feet there is, there, is, there is a hole in the wall, though. Again. No, it'll take like all of my movement. <laughs> no, I can't. No, what? Where's that hole? That hole's 5, right 10, 15, 20 foot away. It's here. Yeah, oh, I thought you about the hole right here. No, no, no. No, two holes. He made his own. He Kool Aid manned I twice. I don't see the hole. I don't see a hole oh, over here. There, there is one over here? There. Like, I. I there's will a hole not lie. No lie, mate. There's a hole right here because how, how, how did Melon all get out? Trust me. Wouldn't lie to you, mate. There's a hole right there. Oh, right. good chisel. I know, I wasn't... <laughs> no, no, I don't even lie to me. I just meant, like, on the... Oh, I... It's a weird... Alright, so that was that much, and then right here... Yep. Was that... Was that... How much... That's how much 30. Was that? That's me... full 30. Right, so 30. I'm going in, and, uh, oh. did it... I can't... It didn't sense me coming, because I did hide before. Right? Um... I did bonus action hide. Have you ever heard of blind sight? I don't know the what senses they get different senses at different levels. Blind sight, so it doesn't it does not rely on you that way. It relies on everything else. Well, it's like, but is it, can't you still hide from a creature that has blind sight, or is it just immune to being hidden from? Because I'm not relying on its sight for it seeing me. I'm relying on like being quietly. Blind like, sight, it's like echolocation. Uh, so, I'll give you it just because. I'll give you it just because he does have a thing. So I'll give you it just because. I mean, no, no. I was just curious how it worked. If it doesn't work like that. I'm no, because he does. He does specifically have a legendary action to detect, where he detects uh, hidden things. So you know, I'll give it to right, you there. Um, I have to look over at the other screen. I will make my you know booming blade, bloodshed, short sword. Get you, get you, get you. Attack. Uh, I'll take this slowly, because this 13 is very important. All right, but did you say advantage? Yeah, because you're hidden. All right, yay. 21 just hits. 21 just hits, all right. And then sneak attack. Okay. And then booming blade. Get six, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 total, didn't it, Nels? Yes, that was my first attack, and then my second attack with the bloodshed show sword. Because yep. uh, I hate it. Yep. Got right 19. Oh, and hold on, baby! Hold on, wait, 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 hold on, wait, 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 wait. I don't think that'll hit. I don't know if that'll hit, guys. I don't I don't think that'll hit. I'll activate <laughs> Bloodshed Short Swords ability. <laughs> I'll spend uh, uh, the 1d20, or was it? 1d. It's your hit die, is it not? It's my hit die. It was my. Hold on. My hit die is. But I want to I wanna spend it all. So, uh, mm -hmm. when you. Da, 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 you can only. So, Crimson Flare Light infused an attack with Blood Session Precision. You can spend and roll one of your unspent hit die, the number rolled in the attack. So, you've got eight unspent hit die. I'll remove one of your hit die. They're both d8s. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't. Roll a d8. But technically, roll two d8. 
Hold on, you know, read the rest of it. Read the rest of it, Chief. Uh, I'm spending all my hit dice. Attack hits, you can spend any number. Oh, any number of your unspent hit die. All right, you're spending eight on eight hit die. Yeah, I'm going full out with this. All right, uh, we're about to have the biggest damage ever dealt. Right, so let's go real quick. Let me get up the calculator for us all to see. So, we currently have seven plus six plus six. Seven plus six plus six plus seven plus two. Roll eight d uh, six. Uh, fuck sixteen d eight. Sixteen d eight. Sixteen d eight. He's, he's, he's said, he said he said like I'm gonna look forward to destroying you. And Aiden just comes out from behind the wall, glowing red sword. <laughs> he cuts it once and then he, nah. <laughs> and he's like glowing red sword. And he's like. You've been looking forward, but you've been sort of looking towards your side, motherfucker. So fucking. We're on <laughs> 28 see. damage right now. 65. 65. I was expecting it to be more. Uh, yeah, no, it's supposed to be more because his breath weapon was 28 that did 67. Yeah, so, so bear mate, uh, you rolled a bad. shit ton of one. All right, anything else you're doing? Uh, and then uh, I haven't used my bonus action yet, have I? No, I haven't. So that's gonna be a uh, baleful talon. All right. Uh, Nineteen misses. Oh god. And then I'm running away. <laughs> Would anyone like to know the numbers out of curiosity? Just would anybody like to know the total? Yes. Yes. Forty-five. Ninety-three. Ninety-three. Is this ninety-three? All right. That's what that's I heard. A Hold on, I got, hold on, I'm moving back. I'm moving back because I gotta see this. Oh my good. <laughs> Alright. <gasps> right. Shit. Did it else your turn? Nope. Yep, and then he's gonna use a legendary action. Alright. To. Oh, well. Luna's well, there. Love you too. Luna, he's gonna. Whoosh, takes that and immediately tail riles through. It's a 16 for 18, which misses. Hey, thanks, because otherwise I would have been almost one shot without being able to do anything. Clifton! Uh, did anyone get. Did Renard get fucked up again? Like, who's down, down? No one's down. I, am, I lost about 30 HP in a turn. In a round. About 30 HP. Yeah, I'm down a little bit. But... Okay, well. I was never I'm, fully I'm, back. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna slide. Uh, bonus action. I'm gonna pop. Um, the aura of vitality again on uh, Renard. Right. I, I hate to say it, but he's the one with the fucking dragon limbs. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I can heal myself. Don't worry. Uh, what was, how much? How much healing is that? Two D six plus five. Two D six plus five. All right. Get healed. Uh, 16 to Renard. I'll pop that on for you just now, mate. That's that's it's actually turned. amazing too. I rolled a six and a five as well. Um, and then as an action, you know, this is some big boy, you know, fucking time. Is that one spell? Yeah, that one spell is. Uh, here's my question, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I, all right. I am not casting. I didn't cast. What's the spell? I didn't cast Aura Vitality this turn. But I use this effect as a bonus action. Could I cast? If there's um, any action oh. spells, yeah, because you're you're just popping it off, so you're not you you're not burning a spell slot or casting a spell, so you can. All right, I'll cast a uh, Guiding Bolt then on the dragon at a uh, fucking fuck it fourth level. Fuck that one up, trying to send this one for our good friend, so she can see what's going on. I, I think Getting it's bolt, yeah, it's just gonna straight whoo, over the wall. Damn. Well, um... He's stuck between a wall and a fucking hard place, so he's just gonna end his turn. Melano's turn. Uh, you know what? I would say... Initially, Melano was supposed to just run away. Um, I don't see the... <laughs> There's no logical sense in that after what just happened. 
and she kind of sees it and comes to uh, Melano is free and will not be running away unless someone yeah, you... fucking dies. That's a good deal. Uh, however, she can do about fuck all. <laughs> but she, well, she used her, her higher level uh, spell slots. Um, I need an interf. A what? Intelligence. Oh. Are you fucking kidding? What are my d6 volts? A yeah, one, a two, and a two. So it takes half damage? Uh, de -de 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 yeah. Cool. That's, Why was that such a big yeah. blood, such a big blood pool for a tiny amount of damage? <laughs> She's gonna Let's keep see. moving now, however. Right. Create some distance. Um. And that's 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 leveled spell. Do we have? How are we looking on sorcery points? We're looking decent. We're gonna keep it there. Uh. Actually. Uh. P -p 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 she's gonna. Use flexible casting to turn two, a second level sp uh, spell slot into two sorcery points. Okay. And that's where she's gonna end her turn. He will then burn a legendary action. Starts. <laughs> uh, now, I need to be specific with this one here because how it says um, each creature within 10 foot of the dragon. God. What now? Uh, what deck saves. God. Renard, you're right. Funnily enough, the Bullet has to make this deck save. Bullet straight That's up fails, you straight up fail. Clifton! I know, I'm doing it. Oh. Uh, gotta get these guys here. Okay. Uh, oh wow, one of them passes. So, let's uh, run the damage as is. Straight up fucking dies. Doesn't. Uh, not prone. And... Okay, our stays up. Are you fucking kidding me? I just lost Not 50 prone. in a turn. Dragon then moves up into the air, jumps the fence, just. Do I get an op attack? Uh, let's see. Does that saving throw? I'll be not prone. The dragon can fly up to half. It doesn't say that it doesn't, so. Uh, the b -b 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 now I have to read Warcaster. I can cast a spell. Any uh, range at the creature. <laughs> Any spell at the, 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 that has one target. Yep. And if it's so, an attack range spell, it's a uh, disadvantage because you're prone. You picked up the wrong. I'm, I'm gonna hit him. Wait, I'm not prone. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, then uh, b -b 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 I'm gonna d d do. Wait. Yeah, a deck of opportunity. So at disadvantage, I'm just gonna use my quarter staff because I don't have good melee spells. That's Mess. A it wouldn't fucking double twelve. Oof. Double twelve. Let me see if I'm knocked prone. Um, but it's my turn immediately now, right? Uh, yeah, your turn immediately. So up, but oh, what's going on here? I stand back up. How much? <laughs> how much is he up, or did he land? He's landed. Okay, he's landed. The, the the bitch has landed. I was gonna say the ego has landed, but that's not right. Uh, bonus action, heal on myself. No, I'll pop right. it on just now. You keep going. I already did it. Um, and then, um, I really don't know what I should do. Do we go for damage or do I play support? Guys. Go for damage. Go for damage. All right. Damage. After, oh yeah, that, yeah. I'm gonna drop my concentration R of utility. Instead, I'm gonna cast Moonbeam at third level. Adam. So once he starts his turn there, he needs to make a saving throw. Huh? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. and then I'm gonna walk, jump off the cage, and and get some distance. Go. Bloods, and then end my turn. Finn! He's gonna run in. This is a hole here, correct? Uh. Good question. Holes here. So next to it, move five foot across. Like here? 
Uh, go there, go there. There you go. We get there. Yeah. That's as far as I can go. Um, what's the? It's an action to do a dash, right? Step of the wind. Key point. Bonus action. So you can act. You can bonus action dash by spending a key point to use step of the wind. I don't want to do that though. <laughs> Tell someone to go for damage. Pussies out. Ah, classic Fain. Key point. Key points are my damage, so... What I think of right now would be the best time to do as much damage as you can. Just a slight feeling. Okay, one sec. You guys want to carry us out? No. My brother in Christ, you are fighting a dragon. And you're asking us to take a minute. <laughs> yes. I hear more background noise than actual. Yeah. It's because y'all are in a weird spot. I did not hear what you asked. I said it's because y'all are in a weird spot. I'm gonna run over here. And then I can... 24 for six hits. Miss. That's on the 24. Uh, hadn't guessed. <laughs> uh, 21 total damage. The 19 is a miss? Yep. Okay. I don't have my bonus, actually. All right. Then I'll rock us over to Renard. Mm -hmm. Renard, dragon, attacking, beating. Shit ain't going well for some people here. Kendor, uh, dead. Oh, how far am I? 45 feet? That's not quite good enough. I'm going to have to do this in an odd manner. Odd manner. Bonus action. Misty step. Just click in the circle. Just click in the circle. Boom. Oh, uh, puts you here with the bonus set. That's your furthest. Okay, then I gotta make another five feet movement. Do the. Uh, where is it? Strike. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot you got range. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And hit him with the old. Right. Yes. Okay. Let me check okay. something, because dragon lances are very particular. They have stat blocks. Oh god. That they... means it can be killed. No, they do specific things to specific creatures, and then they've got like. So, like, a dragon lance is a plus three weapon, normally. And then it does certain things specifically towards dragons. However, it need to check something else. That's not that. That's not that. Magic items, dragon lance. Okay. Mm. So here's where it goes. Hit a dragon with this weapon, which you've done. You've rolled 3d6. Um, it's actually 2d6 right now. So I'm going to take the, the left ones. Mm -hmm. It's a lesser dragon lance. Don't worry. Thematically, don't worry. So 14. Are you. Well, I was going to say you can crit fish, but I'm actually going to check that just now. Um, takes that one fourth damage. Okay. You can now, if you wish, Force the dragon to make a reaction attack against anyone. Burning its reaction. Oh, yeah. oh, explain that to me again. Um, essentially, when you hit a dragon, you can force the dragon to use its reaction to make an attack against 
anyone that it can really reach. So you can force it to make an attack if you wish to burn its reaction. I don't want to force it to attack anybody. That's right. Then are you doing anything else with your turn? Oh, can I add on to that? Yep. What's the old... Smiat. Additional 9 Radiant. Did it That's it. Okay. These guys got absolutely zero, zero resistances to magic and shit. Like, they just take full damage regardless. <laughs> oh. He does, he looks at yourself, Renard. Oh. <laughs> he gets all of his actions back as it has turned as well. He is going to go ahead and. Oh, he's got a good one here. Mm. 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 Well, when in Rome. He turns round, looks at you. No one. <laughs> Deck saves. Uh. Oh, here we go again. He recharged on his first go. He straight recharged. Renard no, and Luna. No. Yeah. Gay recharge. Gay <laughs> recharge right now. Uh, Renard, good or news this time, however. You only take 44 acid damage. Luna. Yikes. You take. 22 acid damage. As it does, he then immediately lifts up his wings and takes to the sky. Two op attacks can come in here Fane and Renard. Miss. Oh, he also has to make a save against Moonbeam. Which I forgot. I gotta go all the way back up because there's so much there. DC yep. 16. Uh, Brings in. Yep. He's, I forgot I was muted. That's right. He saves. The damage on there was 17. Yes. I used absorb elements on the. Um, Breath, but I only do 11 damage. Nope. I already gave it back to me. Oh, fucking. Then take it back off then. He does, it's gonna. That'd be. Not 80. Oh. Call it 60. I'm putting it up. Yeah, say 30 instead. He moves 30. He's got an awful lot here. And starts to fly off. 30. Fang, Fang goes. You running away from puny humans? Uh, he does. He uses 50 foot to fly. Doesn't have 50 foot of map left, however. He gonna flies off 30 up, 50 across. Exodus. You say he's 50 or 30 up, 50 over? 30 up, 50 over. Alright, that's 50 off map, right? So he's no. 90 feet away from me. Uh, if Pythagoras theorem works, I... No. Uh, 60 feet. Wait, so... He is... Oh, fucking hell. Oh, uh, he is on the A30. And on here, 50. Makes him 58, so 60 feet rounded up. As John said. How high is he up again? 60, 60 feet. feet up, you How said? Did you calculated that in your fucking head. Oh, <laughs> good. You said, hold on, you said he was 60 feet up or 60 feet away from me? 60 foot total away. Uh, we could move like everybody back to the right a little bit. 
how how fucked up is he never seen a dragon before who knows I mean I've never seen a dragon but if this motherfucker ran away I knew he must be quite fucked up I'm running after him fuck it you do a lie um I just gotta check the range of a dagger real quick 24 I think it is mate I think it's 60. Uh, 2060, yeah. <laughs> I said I think. Yeah. Alright. Is there any, like, terrain or no? There's no eva elevation. Elevation. Uh, no real elevation at the moment. Alright, I'm zooming. Let me zoom in a bit. There's 30 feet right here. Okay. Oh, it was just measured. 30 feet right here. Okay, I got... I got I got sixty. So I'm going right beneath him. Yeah. And so he's only thirty feet up from me. Yeah. And I'm gonna use dagger disadvantage. The question is it a bonus? So I can can I throw the dagger as a bonus action? Uh, it's an offhand attack. I think it. I think you can. I'll rule it. You can, and I'll look into it and see otherwise. I was going to say, I was going to... You need to make an attack with your main weapon, and then you can use your offense make. But you need to make an attack first with your main hand. Oh, you mean... One second. Um... Um, alright, sorry about that. Um, so... Could I shoot it with a bow, if I take out my bow and then throw the dagger at it? Yeah. Alright, then I would... Try that. First bow. Uh, my one arrow, please strike true. Oh, it doesn't. I wasn't aiming. Or don't worry, it should still let you attack. Unless you have no, no. But it, it, I don't know what's been happening lately. But it's been not showing up a lot of my. Whenever I try to roll something, could you uh, roll the bow from my sheet? Because it just consumed the arrow. Or I could hold on. Let me. I'll add the arrow and see if that works. Why is it? Oh no, we had this issue with Richard in one of the other games, give me a sec. Yep, we had this issue. Given role is null and undefined. Uh, uh, give me 1d20 plus 5. 1d20 plus 5. Alright. That's in that one. That was in that one. Alright. And now the bonus action dagger. Alright. Um, what? Just roll it normal, and then you take off the, uh, you take off the, yep, yeah, roll it normal. No, it's only the damage, right. it's only the damage gets issues. Uh, that's not oh. a thrown weapon. Oh, it is, fuck. You it's a dagger. Yeah, I didn't realise it was thrown, never actually, but would you throw it up? Psst, lands in the sand. Shit. Uh, let me check how much movement I got left. If I have enough movement, yeah, I think I have enough movement. I would go over it just so I could pick it up when it's my turn again. Yep. And that's that's my turn. Clifton. All right. Well, are these people like? These aren't. These aren't like peas. These are like these people. They. They don't get death saves. They die. Died. They. They're dead. Dead. Right. They, they had a whole dragon land on them. Yeah, yeah, I was just just making sure he wasn't like I didn't want to have him like avoid like people in danger <laughs> or like on death's door. But no, these people. There's only have one welcome. guy that's alive, and he is barely kicking on. Yeah. Um. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, so 25 here. Uh, okay. Dragon is. Shit, Pythagium theorem. Pythagum. 40 Pythagum. by 30. So. Um, uh, 50. Well, yeah, dead, dead 50. Dead 50? 50 this button. This dragon it. is going down. You know why? Because I am hitting him. Actually, hold up. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to hit him with the... Um... <laughs> wait, no, that's 30 oh, feet. Wait. He doesn't have... Okay, just checking, just checking real quick. No, no, okay. Okay. What moon am I on? Those, those. 
Those, those. Okay, that's thirty feet. He's too far. He's Fifty feet. Okay, that's he's getting the guiding bolt. All right. He's getting the guiding bolt at the highest level possible. This thing needs to die, which would be third level. And let's rock it. Over the dragon. <laughs> you watch as it impacts the sand some hundred foot away. Uh, that's his turn because he can't do the healing thing anymore because he lost concentration on that. No, no. No, no, no. He's going to use your bone injection to regain a third level spell slot. Which allows her to cast slow on the dragon. Okay. And he's gonna resist it. Fuck. I felt so cool. <laughs> I mean, he might just save. He's, uh, he's pretty wise. But he uses a resistance anyway. I was so proud of myself. Like, oh, we could get him here, you know, I slow him down. And then there are two more of those. <laughs> He is, uh, by far, not the wisest. <laughs> My bluff was called when I was accidentally rolling public. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's still plus six, so if we break it down, he has a... Oh, he's a plus five. Yeah, he's not very wise. Let's abuse the fuck out of that. I mean, what? Um, what? Yeah, meta that's, meta, no. <laughs> meta gaming? No. She's, she's gonna, gonna get a little closer. Try to chase after, but that's her. Yeah, that's her action, bonus action, and her movement. Yeah. Uh, all right. Forty foot movement. And then we're gonna move. How far away would you say he's from me? Like. Uh, what? thirty-five foot on foot. Thirty-five by that, so a forty-five. Forty-five foot. Yeah, so he's within range of moonbeam. I'm going to use my action to move Moonbeam to watch him. Yep. And then... Bonus action. Anybody... Yeah, I'm hurt. Uh, healing word at second level. Yep. For myself. Rock off. Second, I'll let you add that on because we'll end up fucking with each other. You move this. Do not else your turn? I rolled two once. I know, it's hilarious. <laughs> Move over Fane. Let's see what we can do with speed. Oh my god, I still have... No, I don't have Aura Fatality up. Alright. Is he a ship? Go, go, go Sonic Ranger. So, you said 50 feet. So he'd be like... I just called that 50 feet and I use most of my movement, yeah? Uh, he has flying as well, remember? How far is he up again? 30 foot in the air and there's nothing for you to run up. You're in desert now. Can I, um, if I face step to him, can I grab onto him? I'm going to be specifically reading face step here on this one, just to check. Um, space you can see. Space you can <laughs> see. Arguing he's a creature, not a space. The space, like, but I can see a space in air. I don't have to have space. Yeah, foot. however, he's 30 foot. Face step is 30 oh. foot. So you could either be behind him or in front of him, but not above him. How high can how high can monks jump? You have a negative one. In strength? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jumping? That's out, of, that's out of the occasion for you, Fatty. <laughs> yeah, you are. Alright, um. Like you're thinking. Um, you said you said he's if I can like be, if I can grab onto him and then like do an attack, that'd be good. It's classed as a contested grapple to claim, like, like a grapple to claim onto a creature, which would use one of your additional attacks. You'd also have to get up there, but it is possible. Mm -hmm. It's a. Con I'm not gonna win that contested grapple though. Uh, okay. Face step takes a bonus action. 
and again you'd be under behind if you're behind them or in front of them you're doing it with this you'd need to be directly above them to do it normal and getting underneath you're immediately going to start falling i mean falling doesn't really matter to me keep forgetting about that part Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> i forget about the slow fall part of monks yeah um yeah i'm just when i i just want to get up there and do one attack do i have to grab onto him to do that you would you technically have to raid him because you're gonna rules is written you start falling 600 foot so you get up there boom bang slow fall would slow you down but he's you know already passed you at that point there in terms of the flow of it question Hello. hear me out right what if he readies an action so that when he teleports up there he punches him punches the dragon yeah, this, this and when he thinking. uses his bonus action to teleport up but then because he readied his action he can use his reaction to complete the punch then he doesn't get a slow fall that's yeah, it yeah i don't get a slow fall like 30 feet 30 I foot with the we... 30 foot with the condition that if he falls he falls prone If I, re if I ready the action, is that a reaction? If you ready action, it's a reaction when you use the action, if that makes sense. Okay. I'm gonna, gonna pressure you on this one here. 30 seconds, I'm moving you over. Okay. Uh, let's get up there and try to grapple him. I can use dex for a grapple, correct? Uh, think specifically a grapple oh, is no, you can't. strength. Athletics, yeah. What was that, Ruby? It's athletics. Yeah, athletics, it's strength. Athletic and to contest, well, efficiency is possible. And to contest it, it's acrobatics or athletics. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna teleport up, grab onto him. Roll it. I can use acrobatics or athletics, correct? Uh, what was it, sorry? I heard someone say no. No. Right, because he asked if you could use acrobatics or athletics to grapple someone. And no, it's only athletics yeah, yeah, yeah. to grapple, but to defend, you could use either or. Because you can try to slip okay. out or brute force out. Okay, um. So that's rolling strength, right? Yep. Ability check. He will roll, roll his strength as well. Uh, ability check. Roll a one, roll a one, roll a one, roll a one, roll a one. <laughs> so yeah, you're holding on to a dragon, right? <laughs> We're okay. Oh, can he even I grapple said, it because it's much bigger than him? I don't think you can grapple something too. I think it's specific. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I can he's grab onto a finger or something. No, he's two tail. sizes. Yeah. He, this is technically grapple. He's two sizes bigger. So yeah, sorry. That's, and you'd need to be on top to raid on top, as the the uh, real is raid on top. Um, so, I mean, we can we can I can take the fall. Yeah, you can take a fall. I mean, okay. You, so what I'm gonna do? Ready in action. Um, and I teleport up. And I'm gonna hit him directly in his chest. Let's hope that this hits. That has a disadvantage then. Um, I'm saying there, because he's, you know, you're not, he's faster. I still have, um, do I, would I still have advantage from the. Um... Silvery Barb's last one round. Okay. Because you kind of bamf up swinging to go at it. I'm a joke. In fact, yeah. It's been 30 seconds, mate. Okay. Rock it off with a disadvantage. 11 okay. misses. You. <laughs> Reaction Can slow I... fall. Mm -mm. Um. I have a question. Yeah? Does an attack 
have to have to what? I just I don't I don't beat his armor class. Not by a long shot. But does that have to still go on to to what? Okay, yeah, it says you when you hit another creature, so I would so, have to hit it. Okay. Long past the thirty seconds I said I was going to give you, you bamf up, punch, miss. We have reached four hours here, Renard. Uh, well, I'm 50 feet. I'm just going to take a odd shot or a couple. On you go. Bring it, roll them. Oh, what are you trying to? What are you trying to roll it, Curiosity? What her crossbow? Something weird going on with ranged weapons. The fuck? I'm gonna get this looked into, mate. Um, could you give me them? Uh, 1d20 plus 3 1d20 plus 3 and again you get multi attack unless you're doing are you doing 2 arrows or yeah oh yeah great Flies off. Uh, I'm gonna look at that. Do it now. It's your turn. Um, I think that is it. Then, yep. Right. Move over to this turn. He has to make us a wisdom save or con save. Con save. Con save. He's good at those. Con saving throw. Okay. Fifteen half to seven. So, as it does... Is he a shape, shape changer by any chance? Uh, does not have the shape changing trait, no. As he does, uses his action to dash 180 foot off in the distance of Calaman. That's where we will end. Distance spell firebolt? Yeah, no. <laughs> As it does, he flies oh, off. The camp utterly decimated, barring one hobgoblin hidden away in his tent. Let me be very clear. I did not expect you to fight the dragon. The book does not tell you or expect you to fight the dragon. You gave, uh, you gave us, you gave us a stick that is used to kill dragons. I know. <laughs> and you know what the fucked up part about it is? I can only catch up to the dragon really easily because I'm a hasted row. <laughs> I was going to 